What's up guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com and I am very lucky today to have John from The Cavalier on the channel. Hey John, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm really good, I'm excited. I'm glad of this new brand. Yeah. Hatwise. Hatwise, that's what we're calling, we're calling the channel now. The, th the thing, is, here's the thing, I've always wanted to have a straw hat. Because I think a lot of guys look really good in straw hats, but it's true that it's easy to look a little bit derpy in it, but I know that there's a way you can get a good quality straw hat and make it work. And so, this is something that I don't know a ton about, but uh, John, he's a really good style expert. Like his channel uh, crosses all the levels of style out there. <laughs> you know, like there's more formal wear, more casual wear, more modern stuff. So, when I wanted to do straw hats, I thought I'd enlist his help. John. Tell us everything. I think what you want to have is a style that fits your head, your body, and what you are trying to accomplish with mm -hmm. your style, right? For you, I think it's function. You want to have the covering of the hat, right? You want to be protected from the shade, and you also want to protect your head, and you want to have you know this hat style look, but I think, like you're saying, the way that guys look dopey is they get something that's like a very formal hat, that doesn't really fit with the rest of you. Like, you have a very, like a casual and rugged style, you wouldn't want to have a formal hat on top of that, it's gonna look wrong. Straw top hat? Yeah, like straw, uh, mm, no, straw, I don't know, straw fedoras are out. But, we have a few hats here that we're gonna talk about at different price points and talk about what to look for in a straw hat. All right, so today we're talking about the best straw hats on the market and to make things easier, we've divided up into entry level, which is like our fancy way of saying under 100 bucks, and then mid level, and then high end, which are over 200 bucks. So just to talk about what determines the price of a hat is materials play a huge part. So what type of straw is being used, where's the source from, the type of color of straw is a big part, but then there's also the craft, and then there's the fineness of the weave, how even the weave is, and even the direction of the fibers play a big part in identifying if it's a true like Panama hat, like we'll discuss with Optimo, or if it's just something that's gonna protect you from the sun, like this great one we have from REI. So the cheapest that we have on our list here is actually pretty damn nice. It's uh, Sunday Afternoon's Havana hat from REI, and it's 50 at UPF, so it's the best sun protection that you can get. The brim is 2.75 inches, and it gives you some solid shade. You'll see in some of the higher end hats, like they have a, a leather barrier here, and if you're looking at a mid-range hat, with not high quality leather, you're gonna run into some issues. The downside is it's technically not straw, so it's 90% paper, 10% polyester, and there are a lot of high quality paper hats out there. Shantang straw is a high performance paper that's very durable, but this hat doesn't do well in the rain. So in fact, you're really not meant to get wet ever, but it's only $34. So next up in the entry level category here, we've got the Wesley straw from Brixton. It's $49. It is, does it this fit my head, head rise? Is it okay? It does, I, I'm not crazy about the floppiness. When we talk about what are you trying to accomplish with a hat, mm. identify if you want floppy or not. I think a big floppy hat can serve its purpose on the beach, but if you want something a little more refined. This one, to be fair, this is just $49, right? So for $49, it's pretty good. It comes in five sizes, a lot of hats out there. Like the RAR one only comes in like two sizes, the Havana hat. You can also pick from two different colors. Uh, it's also got a leather band, which is like, you know, at this price point, not too bad. And it's got an adjustable Velcro strap under the sweatband to get a nice, uh, like a more secure fit. So it's all pretty impressive for just 49 bucks. Plus it's actually made from straw, if that's important to you. Now our next choice is the Stetson Stratoliner, and it has to get a mention, at $93 it is pricier, but it's still under that $100 threshold, and it's really high quality. Stetson is a very solid brand, they make all of their hats by hand in Texas, and they have seven sizes, four colors to choose from. It's firmer than the other hats that we've mentioned so far, Mr. Floppy here, and there are a lot of cool touches, like satin liner, cowhide sweatband, and a cool hat pin that's shaped like a Stratoliner airplane. Now, we couldn't get our hands on Stetson, even though it was the first brand that I looked at for this video, because uh, Stetson, like what John said, the hats are all handmade in Texas, so it's hard for them to meet demand. When, like, you know, summer starts, a bunch of people buy their stuff, it's hard for them to uh, replenish their stock. That said, Stetson is a really, really legit brand, very, very American, very Americana. I'm pretty sure they made Indiana Jones's hat once or twice, where they're like a uh, felt hat. They're, for under 100 bucks, it's actually pretty surprising for a handmade, American-made hat. So yeah, definitely check out Stetson. Now onto mid-range hats. We've got the hat that I was wearing earlier, which is the Two Roads' Winwood hat. 
So this is like the company's flagship straw hat. It comes in at $105. It's a really shuffling hat. It's simple, but it is high quality with a nice leather sweatband and satin lining. This hat is not made in the United States. It is made in China. That's not necessarily a bad thing at all though. And it does mean that it does have a pretty good price point at $105 for the quality. I think it's very well priced and that's kind of why because it's made in China. I think it's one of the best looking casual hats out there though. It is designed in the US. And what's really great about it is that it's very stiff. It's the stiffest of the hats we're looking at today. And while that might sacrifice a little bit of comfort, it does add a bit of style. And it does stretch a bit when you first get it. Uh, I haven't been wearing this for that long. At first I was worried it was a little bit tight, but it does stretch through the size of your head and actually uh, it's not really uncomfortable at all. And you definitely get some extra style from the stiffness of the brim there, which lets it look, uh, yeah, it looks a little bit sharper in my opinion in certain contexts than a big fluffy sun hat. I guess great. Now, before we go into the really high-end hats, Gorin Brothers is a great brand that definitely deserves a mention. It's a brand that's based right here in New York City, and the hats are made in the US. And yes, I'm like some of the other hats in this list. If that's important to you, they're made from real tokia straw, a natural fiber from Ecuadorian palm trees that for centuries has been used to make the famous Panama hat. So the Big John is $160, comes in five sizes, two colors. And what's nice is that unlike some tokia straw hats, it doesn't have an especially loose weave. So it's actually great at protecting you from the sun. And that said, if you want a lighter hat, that'll give you more air in, you should check out the Puerto Lopez hat for an extra 20 bucks. So now we'll talk about luxury straw hats. There are two hats we want to mention here. The first is Borsellino's Crochet Raffia, which uh, I did pick up for this review. I can't quite decide if I should keep it or not because with shipping from Italy, it costs $250, but there are a lot of interesting things going on with this hat. So for starters, it's a Borsellino, which is a company that was founded in 1857 and it has a ton of history. They're best known for making the most iconic hats worn by gangsters in the 1920s and 30s, like Borsellino's was kind of like shorthand for gangsters for a while. This hat is called the Argentina Raffia Crochet. It has a larger brim than most others have talked about at 2.75 inches. And it's inspired by wide brimmed roll up Argentina hats and the English arts and crafts movement of the late 19th century, which actually is not about finger painting or something. It was a philosophy advocating the rejection of modernity in favor of a romantic revival of medieval and folk aesthetics. So of course with a hat this price, you get like a lot of nice mythology and lore that goes along with it. Most practically, it's made of raffia straw, which is considered by many at least the most resilient straw material. It's made from a palm tree dated to tropical regions of Africa, and it's heavier, more durable, and better at sun protection than most if not all other kinds of straw, while also being, yeah, surprisingly flexible. So combine that with the fact that it's handmade in Italy, and you start to see the price tag's justification. Talking about luxury hats, let's talk about Optimo. And this is the Panama hat, and I brought my Monte Cristi Panama hat from Optimo because when you're talking about the best of the best, the, this is basically it. So this is their signature model, the Optimo. They have several other straw hats. They have several <laughs> different straw hat models, but you can only get this when you go into the Optimo store in Chicago. They actually measure your head. They take the shape of your head. It's all handmade to form. And when we're talking about identifying the quality of a hat by the weave, the uniformity of the weave and the straw itself. This is handmade in Ecuador with old world techniques. You can see how finely the weave is done in here. And they also like, when you're at the store, they train you on how to pick the hat up properly so you don't damage it uh, over time. And they also have a repair program. Like you can send this hat in, they'll restitch it and repair the hat as well. And it's an interesting like buying process too because you also choose several different parts of the hat. Like I chose the ribbon, the color, the style, the brim length. But if you go wider, it's considered a different model. But in their store in Chicago, they have, I mean, this hat retails for $900, but they have hats in their Optimo collection that go up to five thousand dollars depending on like intricate weaves and uh, different materials and so Optimo they're famous for making all their all their other hats are made in the US of fine materials uh, this is the only part of their line the straw hats are made in Ecuador but they're famous for making hats for musicians for, for decades and uh, going way back and so Optimo notable hat company luxury tier for sure and it's definitely this, I can't wait to break this out in the summer. Now that we're getting some warmer weather, it's always a treat. Yeah, it's like Optimo, like when you want more than just keeping the sun out of your eyes. Exactly, <laughs> when you want to send the signal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's a very nice, it's a very nice hat. And you can honestly tell like, it's, it's much more finely woven than anything else here. Like, you know, even, even this Borsellino. All right, well, that's it. That's our whole video on the best straw hats. Honorable mentions to Super Duper hats, by the way. I really wanted one of their hats, even though the brand name is terrible, but they're in Italy. It was gonna take too long to get here. And they were quite expensive. They were over 300, maybe over $400. But that's also a cool brand worth checking out. But this is a pretty good place to start, I think, if you're looking for 
good store hats at different tiers. I'm pretty confident in that list. I've got a full written article in the description below as well. You're going to check that out and see a couple of other options. And uh, while you're here, make sure you subscribe to The Cavalier because it's a fantastic YouTube channel and website as well that you should check out and click around because uh, the guy is an absolute virtuoso in the world of men's style.